What's up, people? So today it's a new band that I, I didn't react to yet. It's Tool with The Pat. Yeah, I don't know much about this band. I only know Schism, Schism, Chism. And yeah, it's a, it's a pretty cool song, you know. It's actually one of uh, Robin's favorite bands, you know, Robin, which whom I, I reacted to uh, the first two Slipknot albums. And yeah, it told me about, uh, it told me to react to this song, uh, The Pat, so... Let's see about it. I just know it's it's a progressive metal. Well, rock maybe it's not it's not really metal, you know. It's more like rock, but but it, but it is progressive as fuck. And yeah, just let's see because I know it's pretty trippy. When you look at the artwork, it's pretty trippy as well. So let's look at the lore. Okay, the pot is a song by the American band Tool, yeah, and was released as a promotional single for the fourth uh, studio album, Ten Thousand Days. It became Tool's first number one song. All right. Uh, topping the Billboard mainstream rock chart in 2007. It also received a Grammy nomination for Best Hard Rock Performance in 2008. And what about Tool, man? Let's look it up. All right, Tool uh, is active since 1990. All right, they're 32 years old then. And the genres are alternative metal, art rock, post-metal, progressive metal, progressive rock. All right, let's hear about that. All right, let's not waste any more time. I have my water ready. <laughs> no beer this time. My neck, I won't in my neck, I think. Well, we'll see. I think I'll in my brain. And here we go. Who are you to wave your finger? You must have been out your hair. I hold it. Okay, the baseline is cool. Yeah, the time signature is fucked. It grooves, I wasn't expecting that. Dude, I love bass lines like that. Must have been. 
I don't know what I'm talking about, so I guess, yeah, the pot. <laughs> you want pot? Man, the roots are badass, that's for sure, man. You're not gonna hit me with a breakdown tool, right? You're not gonna bring me with uh, No way. No, no way. Man, it's groovy as fuck, dude. That room is they don't they don't say the Wikipedia page that is groovy, it's good metal, but you lose a lot. God damn, okay, that was too the pot. Yeah, man, it was groovy as fuck, dude. Like, really, I wasn't expecting that. I knew, like, they, they're super good at, at putting the, the bass on the forefront, you know? Like, here at the beginning. Boom, 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 boom. I knew with uh, Kizum, you can really hear it. And the, I don't know who the bass player is, but god damn, he has groove, man. And actually, I was expecting to be mind fucked a little bit more. It was, well, it was understandable, you know? Maybe. Maybe it's all these years with Meshuga who like fucked my brain up, you know. <laughs> yeah, and I know they they did a a tour with with Meshuga actually once. Man, that that would have been crazy. I would have loved to see them together. The part is man, that song is crazy, and that's crazy that it, that it went number one on the Billboard, dude. Like that kind of music in two thousand eight. That's super dope, man. Well, yeah, guys, tell me more songs uh, like this one if it grooves. I'm into it. You know that, guys. If you like the video, please leave a like, subscribe. And tell me which video I should react to next. Peace.